Assalamu alaikum. You are welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Rayma Claudia, and in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut a hijab gown. That is, the hijab is attached to the gown. If this is what you like to learn, let's get straight to the video. So I have four yards of material here because my client is a plus size so that's why i'm using four yards of material so the first thing i'm going to do now is to fold the material in four in four folds i'll fold it into two and i'll fold it into four through the yardage part the part that has the english mouth where we normally measure the yard that's where i'm going to fold into four so i want to get the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement of my client is 29 inches so I got the shoulder measurement by placing the tape at the center back of her neck down to her wrist like if you want to measure a booboo dress. That's how I got 29 inches. So my fabric is now on 4 foot. I have my 29 inches. So I'm just going to cut the rest, the rest out, the remaining part out. I have already done that off camera and this is what we have. You can see that the material is on 4 foot. So now I'll start by removing the yardage part so to get my measurement accurately. So that will be the starting line. So after that, I'll go down by one inch for my shoulder slope and I'll use a ruler to connect it. So from the shoulder slope, I'll measure 12 inches. Mind you, I'm measuring this from the unfolded part. The folded part is at the other side. So from the unfolded part, I'll measure 12 inches, which is which will serve as the like the round sleeve. Then I'll go in by seven inches. So yeah, I was contemplating on which inches to use, but at the end of the day, I let her use seven inches. Remember, we measure 12 inches for the opening. That's what I'll measure here again, so as to get a straight line. You can see. So I'll just give it a little curve at that area to avoid any sharp edge. So after that, from the starting line, I'll measure 7 inches all the way to the down part of the, of the hijab so as to get a straight line. And after that, I'm going to cut it out. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do well to click on the subscribe button and subscribe now. And also give me a thumbs up. If you have any question, put it in the comment section and I'll try as much as possible to reply them. Thank you. So I'll just cut through the line and after cutting it out, we'll work on the neck part. So for the wideness of the neck, I'll make use of 4 inches. Then while open, it's going to be 8 inches. Remember, we are going to add a hijab to it, so it needs to be wide. Then for the depth, I made use of 3 inches. Then I'll curve it and cut it out. Remember, the front and the back are together. They are folded together. Then I'll remove one part. That will serve as the front piece. Then I'll just trim off the neckline. That is by half inch because the front neckline is supposed to go down by down the back you can make it equal if you want to this is how it looks like so i'll mark the back parts and tag it as f which is the front so i'll know the difference between the front and the back so for the hijab part i folded it into two and the one facing me right here will serve as the back part that is the folded part will serve as the back part so the head circumference I'm working with is 24 inches i'll divide it by two which will give me 12 inches i'll add extra half inches for sewing and I add another half inches for ease around the head, head area so it won't be too tight for the person so in total I'm going to have 13 inches so this is what I have here 13 inches so I'll start by measuring the length of the hijab so the former one that I cut out I didn't know I was not recording so I had to make another one so this is the fabric I folded it into two the one facing me is the folded part, it will serve as the back part, and the one facing front is going to serve as the front part. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to measure the length of the hijab. I used 18 inches, no, I used 19 inches. You can use 20, 20 inches or 21 inches, but it should not be more than 21 inches, so it won't be too long. So I'll measure the round neck of the, of the dress. 
So in total, I think I have about 25 inches or so. It gave me 26 inches after measuring. So since it gave me 26 inches, I'll divide it by 2 and it's going to give me 13 inches. So I'll draw a round shape first of all. Then after drawing the round shape, I'll measure it. And after measuring it, it, sh it should give me 13 inches. So I think I have 13 inches there. I want it excess, so I'll add extra 1 inch, which will give me 14 inches. And this is it. Then I'll cut it out. So this is how it looks like. So let's cut the cap, the cap of the hijab. So for the cap, I'll fold the fabric into 4. I'll fold it into 2 firstly, and I'll fold it into 4 again, like so. So I use 4 inches for the length of the hijab, and the width, I use 7 inches. So I'll just connect it with a curve and I'll cut it out. And this is how it looks like. This is the cap. This is the hijab. So we'll just connect it like that. So for the round sleeve, I'm just going to add extra fabric to it just to give it more beauty. So for the sewing aspect, the first thing we're going to do is to join the shoulders together. I'll join the shoulders by half of an inch as I'll place the back part and the front part together, front on front, the front will be facing each other. And I'll stitch with half of an inch. I have finished stitching both sides and this is how it looks like. So let's work on the hijab part. So on the hijab part, the first thing I'm going to work on is the hijab cap. So I'll fold it wrong side to right, wrong side, then I'll stitch with just quarter of an inch. So this is it. So now we'll place it on the main hijab itself. Starting from the center, we'll place it center to center, then I'll stitch it on both sides with half of an inch. Then after that, this is how it looks like. This is how it is looking for now. You can see the hijab cap at the front. So the next thing we are going to do now, still at the front part, we are just going to, the remaining parts of the front, we are going to stitch with just um, half of an inch. You can see that part. We'll bend it over and stitch it. So I'll do the same thing for both sides and I'll go ahead to iron it so it can be looking smooth. Look at how it is looking for now. So the next thing we are going to do now is to stitch the front part of the hijab. So where the cap is, is the head circumference part. This place right here is the front part and the down part is where we are going to attach to the gown. So the front part now, I'll just stitch it with half of an inch all the way to the down. So after that, we'll just fix it on the dress, center to center, front to front, back to back. So right here, I'm just trying to get the center of the neck for both the front and the back, so everything will match. So this is it. I'll bring the hijab now and place it center to center. The front one will match with the front, while the back one will match with the back, and I'll pin it down. And I'll stitch with half of an inch. So sometimes while sewing, it could be exactly and sometimes there could be excess. So if you have excess on yours, you can add pleats to it at the back. Make sure the pleat is, is at the back. So it will give it more beauty. So we are done with the hijab part. So let's finish the gown or the dress. So remember the long stripe that we cut out the two inches that we are going to add to the sleeve area. This is it. I've gone ahead to iron it. So I'll just stitch it with half of an inch. So after stitching, you can see this is how it looks like. So the next thing we're going to do now is to join the dress together. We'll join it with one inch and I have already done that. You can see. We'll just follow the shape and stitch with one inch all the way to the down. I did it on both sides. So after that, the next thing we are going to do now is to M the down part just with half of an inch or just little. Or you can make it a big M, maybe with one inch, depends on the allowance you left at the down part. So, and after that, we are done with the hijab and I'll show you how it looks like.
thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it to click on the subscribe button now turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever i upload new video and make sure you give me a thumbs up this is the final look of the hijab gown remember i said at the beginning that i made it for a plus size for a plus size so that's why it's looking too big on me like this so if you have watched the video to this very end i appreciate you thank you so much see you in my next video bye